Well, hello. Today is Monday, January 14th, 2019. I struggled yesterday, and so I went on the internet today to try to find some reasons to uh, get back on track. Not that I need a reason to get back on track, but sometimes we just need some motivation. So I found these 10 quotes, and these are 10 things we need to remind ourselves when we're struggling. And I woke up this morning ravenous, just ravenous. And that's only because I ate so poorly yesterday. I went cray cray yesterday. And um, I thought, no, no, Sandy, you can't do that anymore. You just can't do that anymore. So I got up, drank some water, went to my water aerobics class. And now I'm back and I'm getting ready to have some breakfast and I was going to choose poorly. I'll be honest with you, I was going to choose poorly. And I thought, no, we're not going to do that. Let's get our water and drink our water and then go on the internet and figure out. The internet will help us because it helps us all the time. And it did. It really has. So these are 10 quotes that I'm going to live by this week. Not just this week, but for always. But this is going to really help me. And the number one quote, the reason why people give up so fast is because they tend to see how far they have to go rather than how far they have come. I have now lost 68.6 pounds, which is very impressive, I know. But I had at one point had been up to 77, point, 77 pounds. And um, I want to get back there. And I know I will get back there. But I, I'm struggling right now. I'll be honest with you. I'm really struggling. I just... I, I put too much pressure on myself, I think, sometimes. And so I have to, I really have to take a, t a, take a deep breath and just realize I've come a long way. And um, at the very end of the, vi at the video, I'm going to show you um, when I started the program, show you how bad I was. Because, you know what, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you right now. Hello, I'm Sandy. I am the oldest, but the most beautiful. And since 1980, every year I sit in a chair and I say, next year I'm going to be 100 pounds lighter. Obviously, I haven't lost 100 pounds. If I have, boy, I was really big. But in that regard, I have lost 100 pounds, if not more than 100 pounds. Unfortunately, I gained back the 100 pounds. I lose it 10 pounds, I gain 15. Then I lose 15, and then I gain 10. So Denise is my inspiration, and hopefully um, I'll stay on the journey with her, and we'll both get thin next year. So my goal is to lose um, 100 pounds too, but it's gonna take me more than a year because I'm old, as Denise pointed out. It's nice meeting you. Okay, I apologize to people who have seen that before, but I have to look at that every once in a while just to remind myself how far I really have come. I have come a long, long way, and I have to keep reminding myself of that sometimes. When I get discouraged and I see how much farther I have to go, um, because I really, need to lose at least another 50 pounds, more than 50 pounds. I need to lose 60 more pounds just to get to my my own personal goal, which is 175. And uh, and I keep saying I'm going to do it this year. It's a pound a year, a pound a week. And I know I can do it, but, um, you know, it's just, I shouldn't look at that number. And I'm going to stop looking at that number. Uh, the number two, it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. Uh, if you stop, obviously, that's going to be the end of your journey and you're just going to put the weight back on. You know how, if yesterday's any indication of how easily it is for me to slip back into my old ways, I should just uh, have videotaped the whole day and just replayed it constantly this week just to remind myself as how easy it is to slip back into my old ways. And I'm not going to do that anymore. I am not. Uh, the number third quote is, don't be sad because you're not there yet. Be happy because you're getting closer every day. I am getting closer. I lost a half a pound last week, and even if I only lose a half a pound, and not, I didn't say only like in the sense it's only a half a pound. That I had to use it that way in a sentence. If you follow me for a while, you know I hate when people say I only lost so much. But I mean it in a good way this time, that only if I lose a half a pound a week, I'm losing a half a pound a week. And no matter what I lose, no matter what the number is, I have to be satisfied with that and just know that I'm getting closer going that way than going back to where I was because I do not want to go back to where I was. Um, number four, did I say number four? And number four, if I quit now, I'll be back to where I started. No, I didn't say this one before. Okay. If I quit now, I'll be back to where I started. And when I started, I was desperate to get to where I am now. 
That is so true. My goal is just to get into the next set of digits. When I originally started, I was I was 310 before I actually joined Weight Watchers. When I joined Weight Watchers, I weighed 304.2. But my goal was always just to get out of the 300s into the 90s, into the 80s, into the 70s, into the 60s. I did get into the 20s, but somehow I managed to get myself back into the 30s, and it wasn't until I got back to the 40s that I had a reality check and thought, no, Sandy, stop this. Stop doing this right now. And so now I'm back on my journey to get back into the 20s. Uh, number five is a huge part of losing weight is believing you can do it and realize it's not going to happen overnight. I always say, where am I going? This is how I'm going to eat the rest of my life, so what difference does it make how fast or how slow I'm losing my weight? As long as I'm having a steady progression of losing weight, it doesn't really matter how long it's going to be. It's not like I'm going to reach a magic number and then all of a sudden I'm not going to have to watch what I eat anymore. I want to get down to 175. Does that mean once I get back to 175, I can go back to my old way of eating? No. Yesterday is proof of that. Because if I was to get on the scale today, although some of it would be a sodium gain, but a lot of it is a true gain, I probably gained four or five pounds. Now, I know I didn't gain four or five pounds overnight, but I probably did because I was that bad. And I can't do that anymore. And I have to learn that. Uh, number six is don't be sad because you're not there yet. Be happy because you're getting closer every day. I am getting closer every day, and I realize that I'm getting closer every day. It's, like I said, it's a long journey. It's a long, long ride. But I'm learning so much about myself. Every day I learn a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. And even yesterday when I was going crazy eating, I knew at the time I was eating I wasn't happy. And I kept eating anyhow. And even as I was eating, I was getting madder at myself because I'm thinking, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And it's a question you have to ask and answer for yourself. No one else can answer that question for you. You have to really dig deep and figure out why you were doing that. And I realized that the reason that I was doing it, and I've come to this realization before, and it's like I play catch up the whole week, is because I go crazy on the weekends, and then during the week I have to play catch up, and I, I can't have any kind of little snacks or treats or whatever you want to call them along the way during the week because I have to make up for the weekend. I get 42 weeklies. I should figure out a way to just use six points extra a day and then figure out a snack that I can have every day that's going to be six points rather than use all my weeklies on the weekend, which I've been doing, and then playing catch up for the whole week, and then I feel deprived. And that's why I go crazy on Sunday, because Monday through Saturday, I'm doing really well, tracking and tracking. And then Sunday, I think it's a free-for-all, and I can do whatever I want, and I go crazy on Sunday, and then I spend the rest of the week trying to make up for it. It's like I'm rewarding myself. I'm not a dog. I don't need to reward myself. And you can fit any kind of a treat into your daily your daily uh, budget of points if you're just smart with them. And I have not been smart. So I think that I'm learning more about myself every day. And, and I'm really proud of the fact that I am. Number seven, you can't change yesterday, but you can change today. Oh, how I could wish that I could wake up yesterday morning and start all over again, knowing what I know today. That doesn't happen. That never's go That is never going to happen. And, uh, well, I shouldn't say never. You never know what the future might bring. But in my lifetime, I don't foresee that it's ever going to be the fact that you could go back and change yesterday. There is no time machine that I can set, that I can climb into and go back. Because if there was a time machine, I would go way back to when I was in high school. Because that's really when I started making my poor choices uh, as far as food goes. Um, I was pretty thin through my teens, but it wasn't until I graduated from high school that I kind of went crazy. And after I got married and had my children, I just went bonkers. So I really, you know, anybody would say if I could go back in time that I would change a lot of things. I financially, I'd be a millionaire now. I would have invested my money so much better. I would have done so many things different in my life. But you know what? I can't change the past, but I can learn from the past. And so I'm going to have a better future because I'm learning from my past. And I'm learning from yesterday that I'm going to have a better week this week. And I'm going to remember this because on Sunday, I'm going to watch this video again. And I'm going to remember that I don't have to go crazy on a Sunday. Sundays is just another day of the week. Sunday ends in day just like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's just no different. I have to remember that. Uh, number eight. 
Okay, so you had a bad day. Don't beat yourself up about it. Get back on track and make better choices. I had a bad day yesterday, but I planned my whole day out today. I know exactly what I'm going to eat for the whole day. I'm, I'm going to be under points, but let's face it, I need to be under points. And that's not the way to be on this program. Weight Watchers, or WW, has got this set up that you can eat healthy every single day and not feel deprived. I set myself up for this. Weight Watchers didn't set this up. It was me. It was my fault. But luckily, they have like rollover points. And so I'm going to try to do some rollover points this week to make up for Sunday. And then next Sunday, not do the same thing that I did yesterday because I want to learn from my mistakes. Uh, number nine, I am thankful for my struggle because without it, I wouldn't have stumbled across my strength. That is so true. I stumbled yesterday and I not only stumbled, I fell and rolled and I did everything, everything bad to myself yesterday. And, uh, but through it all, I woke up this morning and found my strength. And my strength is that I'm, I know that I can't do that anymore. I can't keep doing that. I'm not going to say that I'm never going to do it again. I'm human. I know I'm going to make a mistake. I know I'm going to do it again in the future. But I'm going to do my best to learn and have my strength to know that I can do better than this. And I will do better than this. And, and I just know it's possible. I just know it's possible. And the number 10 thing to remember is Mondays can either be a start of a struggle week or a fresh reminder that this week you're going to be strong. Mondays. Everybody starts a diet on Monday. Every, you know, everybody starts all over on Monday. This is my first day to remember. This is the first day of the rest of my life. I know that's a quote that everybody's heard a million, 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 million times. But I have to remember that just because I struggled yesterday doesn't mean I have to struggle today. This can be the beginning. I can be starting all over again today. And that is my plan, to start all over again. And I'll start over as many times as I have to. I'm never going to quit. I'm never going to give up. Because you know what? As soon as you give up, you failed. And I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm just not giving up. I'm going to learn from my mistakes, and I'm going to keep on track. Thank you so much. I so appreciate all of you listening to me go on this rant. But uh, I just want to share my struggles with everyone. I struggle just like everyone. And I like my channel to be honest. I like to share with you my struggles and my, my successes. I, I've had quite a few successes, but I've had quite a few struggles too. And uh, it's just part of life. It really is. It's just... It really would be a boring life, in my opinion, if everything went perfectly. I mean, everybody says, oh, I want everything to go perfect. But to me, that's just like a, a roller coaster going round and round. I want a, not a roller coaster, a merry-go-round that goes round and around. And I've used this before, and I always mess it up every time I say it. But, uh, but uh, a merry-go-round just goes round and round, and you see the same thing. You see the same thing. But when you're on a roller coaster, you're going to go up, and you get that, like, excitement, excitement. And then you get that, oh, 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 but then you get that excitement again. So that's what I want. And I know that's what my whole journey is going to be. It's going to be a series of a roller coaster ride. And I'm going to have a lot of ups, and I'm going to have a lot of downs. But um, I'm never going to get up. I'm never going to give up. I'm going to reach my goal. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to reach my goal. Thank you for listening to me. So um, leave me a, in the comments below. Tell me what your struggles are. I, I bet you we share a lot of struggles. I bet you we do. But I bet you we've all share a lot of, uh, of uh, happiness too and joys on this journey. I, I've learned so much about myself, so much that I didn't know, so much that was trapped inside of me that I was letting food consume me. And I'm not letting food be my substitute for love anymore. I I have so much love to give and... Uh, and I'm going to accept so much love from everybody. And it's not going to be from food because food is a false love. It really is. But, okay, now I'm starting to ramble. Okay. I'll talk to you guys on my daily vlog.